divers, Ali Pierce Scuba, uh, tech tips. And, uh, and uh, this is another uh, tech tip in response to questions and comments from you. Love them. Keep the question. Some of the comments are quite funny. And I appreciate, first of all, the compliments. They're always nice. You guys that don't give me compliments, I like you too. But a compliment's always nice. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love the comments. Keep them coming. And questions. If you have questions or things you need me to, to, to consider, to discuss, I'll be happy to do so. There's not very many things I can't discuss in scuba diving. And if I can't, I have experts. I have lots and lots of friends who are experts. And I'll be happy to get one of them to talk to you about it and maybe solve some of your problems, make diving easier. Anyway, this is a particular tech tip in response to a comment. Somebody asked about Venturis. Okay, Venturis are cool. Venturis are what make airplanes fly. Now, that's cool. Uh, and, and all kinds of other things. Um, but as you probably know, if you've uh, shopped for a regulator any time in the last 15 years, Venturis are also used in scuba regulators. Yeah, so what is a Venturi? Is it good? Is it bad? What does it do? And so on. I can take a couple of minutes and show you all of that information. Now, first of all, let me explain to you that <clears throat> regulators are very, very simple. A regulator has a first stage, which drops the pressure from 3,000 to 150. We've gone through this before. And it's a second stage that so drops the pressure from 150 to whatever the ambient pressure is. It's very simple. There's a valve in here, which is not simple, but it's not complicated. The valve inside the second stage is real simple. It's a little lever. It's a little lever. You pull the lever in, the air comes out. It's the easiest thing in the world. So when you suck on the mouthpiece, the diaphragm moves in, pushes the lever, opens the valve, you get air. You stop sucking, the diaphragm goes back out, the valve closes, the air stops. It really is very simple. Now, when I say very simple, the principle is very simple. I mean, you look at it, it actually looks very simple. But in modern regulators, it's actually very sophisticated. Everything is geared and balanced and sophisticated. It matches. So this air pressure and the flow matches exactly the spring pressure in the high pressure seat and the flow, the size of the, bin, of, of the orifice in here. The diaphragm is exactly the right distance. The lever is the right height. So, and, and the lever, little things like the lever is held in place by a small screw. And the lever is like this, held by the screw. The lever moves up and down like this as you suck in and out. Well, on the end of the lever, there's a little bend. That little bend, they spend a lot of money and a lot of time figuring out exactly how wide that bend should be and where should it be widest. It's a very, today, making regulators is very, very sophisticated. Now, most regulator companies offer the same features. First stage, whole second stage. And then there isn't really much difference. So every once in a while, there's a regular that comes along. It's a little bit odd, a little bit different. And, and, uh, and sometimes it's good. Sometimes it isn't. People buy a few, but it's not really all that much better than a good solid standard, so it disappears. So regular manufacturers, just like car manufacturers, in their attempt to sell their brand, their product, there's nothing wrong with that, they would try to, to add features to their regulator. Your job as a diver is to decide whether or not those features are beneficial to you. Do you need those features, like buying a car? Do you need a sliding sunroof? Do you need a sliding back window in your pickup truck? Do you have to have eight-way adjustable leather heated seats and all that kind of stuff? Those are all nice features. And they may have benefits. Are they beneficial to you? And we had a video a little while ago. Kevin and I made a video right here on Tech Tips called Buying a Regulator, $300 or $800. And what's the difference between them? The $300 regulator, brand new from a manufacturer, every time you suck on it, you get air. Every time you suck on it, you get air. Now, really, what do you want from a regulator, right? <laughs> However, there is a difference between $300 and $800. And most of the difference is made up in features, some of which are beneficial, some are nice. But you don't have to have them, but that's the difference. You, you, you pay for those features. The Venturi is a feature. It's a feature. It's not necessarily a benefit, okay? Let me explain what a Venturi does, and then you need to decide whether or not a Venturi is beneficial to you. They're not perfect. No feature is. All right, here we go. First stage, air goes into the hose, comes out to the second stage. And I'm going to actually open up this second stage and show you uh, 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 how it looks inside. So I've discussed in the past how to clean your second stage. Most second stages, the regulator, the second stage cover will come off fairly easily. I'm going to take that off. This particular second stage <clears throat> has a uh, has an extra protective piece over top of the diaphragm, and then there's a diaphragm. The diaphragm is usually black rubber, or sorry, 
or, or in this case, it's clear silicone. Silicone is better. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, deteriorate in the sun or the salt. So this is the diaphragm. This is the thing that goes in and out. In fact, I'm going to show you right now, Kevin, if you'll take a look at the front of this regular. I'm going to put this back in the, put the diaphragm. There's the lever, by the way. Can you see that, Kevin? There's the lever. When I go down on that lever, air comes out. When I, the lever goes back up, airflow stops. Watch. I'll put some air on it. Watch now. Air. I'm going to push down on it. I'm going to let go of it. Air stops. Air stops. So in order to get air in your mouth, all you do is push that lever down. Well, how do you do that? You don't reach up with your finger, that's for sure. Well, no. You, there's a, this flexible diaphragm sits right in there like that. Or close. <laughs> Close to that. Now, when I put this in my mouth, watch the diaphragm, Kevin. You ready? When I suck in, the diaphragm sucks in naturally. And when it sucks in, the metal part in the middle of the diaphragm pushes on that little lever in there. And air comes out when I have the air turned on. Air comes out like that when you suck in. Okay? Now, this particular regulator is a very, very good regulator. This is an $800 regulator. This is a the Scuba Pro Mark 25, been around for a long, long time, their first stage. And the second stage is the Scuba Pro S600. Excellent uh, regulator. You'll notice that, again, inside, Kevin, I'm sorry, the air barrel, this part through the middle, is the, the principal valve part of the second stage. It has an adjustable second stage. I think we've talked about that briefly. We'll do that again. And, and the valve is all in there. And this is metal. So this is also a good regulator for cold water. Good for cold water. Excellent for down south, of course. Easy, easy breathing. Adjustable breathing. So that if it free flows, you can turn it down. And, and if, it's, if it's hard to breathe, you can make it a bit easier. And, and so on. So it's a beautiful regulator. It also has a Venturi. I'm going to show you the Venturi inside, how it, uh, what it looks like, and then I'm going to show you what it does for you. And you have to decide whether or not it's beneficial. You're watching here, Kevin? I'm tucking in my bed. Can you still hear me? Okay, so you can look through there. Can you see that blue through the mouthpiece? Which way have I tilted? Now, inside that hole, I'm going to move this lever. You see a little vein in there. Now, watch. Can you see that vein moving, blocking off the blue a little bit? You see it? So like this is blocked. Oh, like this, it's open. It's flat. You pull it back, it blocks it a bit, right? Open, blocked. Open, blocked. This actually blocks the air coming into your mouth. Hey, that's not good. Uh-huh. That's where the Venturi effect comes in. Take off my bib. All right, thank you, Kevin. So here's what happens. The air comes out of the hose, through the valve, and there's a hole in the back of that tube, and the air rushes right down the mouthpiece into your mouth. That's good. You want the air coming in easily. Okay. And then you've got the Venturi. The Venturi is a little block. It just blocks it a little wee bit. You see? And when you want the Venturi assist, the Venturi to work, to, be in a, to assist you, you turn like that, and now the block, that little plastic plate, no longer blocks the mouthpiece. So now the air rushes right in. Comes around, out of the valve, through the wall, rushes right into your mouth. Good. That's really good. Ah, it does more than that. I have to put this back in here, Kevin. I'm going to show you what it does. All right, so now I've put the, fitted the diaphragm back in, and I put the little diaphragm holder there to make it steady. Now, you watch that diaphragm, and it works just the way it's supposed to. When I suck air, the diaphragm moves in, pushes the lever, I get air. Watch. Good. You know, this regular is a very easy breather, and I can make it a bit easier and a bit harder and so on. So what's the Venturi for? Well, when you turn the Venturi, you take away that little block. It comes up like this, and now the air rushes straight in through that mouthpiece. And as it rushes straight in through that mouthpiece, if you know what Venturis are, it actually produces a vacuum, a lower pressure. Not really a vacuum, but it reduces the pressure on the back of the diaphragm. Well, if you reduce the pressure on the back of the diaphragm, the diaphragm gets sucked in even more. I mean, when you suck on this, you reduce the pressure on the diaphragm, right? And it sucks in, opens the lever. Well, now if you have the Venturi assist, and it sucks the diaphragm in even more, now what happens? It really fills up. Let me show you exactly what happens. If I push on this diaphragm now, the Venturi effect is so great. Watch. See what happened? The Venturi effect was so great, it actually sucked the diaphragm in and kept it in. 
It, it wouldn't normally do that if I put this back like so. Okay, now watch. Doesn't happen. Put the Venturi forward like that. Wow. Wow, that's great. So is it, now, that's pretty crazy though. Is, is that beneficial? Is that a benefit to you? Well, let me explain. When folks come in to, to the dive store, and I happen to be at, at, at the front counter serving them, first of all, they have a problem. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But I tend to, I'm an educator. And I tend to show them everything. So I will actually, when they ask about the Venturi, I will actually take one apart just like this and show them how it works. And then I will say to them, I'll try to explain them and de we'll decide whether or not they need to pay the extra for that Venturi. And one of the things that helps me to decide whether or not I should suggest, yes, you should do it, is the diver. If it's a little lady, fit, slim, and so on, she doesn't need a Venturi. However, if a guy walks in, I, nice guy, Diver, experienced, but he's a big guy, big chest. Maybe he's got a bit of a tummy on him. Big, tall guy, and 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 maybe he maybe he is not as 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 maybe he hasn't been working out as much as he should. He's not in the best possible shape. I suggest to him this Venturi would be good for you. It'd be good for you. Why? Number one, he needs more air. He needs as much help to get air in his lungs as possible. Number two, if he's swimming along and there's a strong current. His buddy is swimming away from him, or for whatever reason he has to fin hard. A big guy like that needs a lot of air. In a few minutes, he's going to get out of breath. And he's going to start. And a regulator will give him lots of air, but it still takes work to get that air. And slowly his body gets farther and farther behind. He builds up what's called an oxygen debt. And if he's not careful, he can actually go unconscious, actually pass out from that oxygen debt. So why the Venturi? Because with the Venturi, if he has it turned on, as soon as he sucks on it, the Venturi fills his lungs up. <gasps> it's no easier to breathe. <clears throat> but he gets a shot of air that fills his lungs right up for him. He's not going to run out of air. So you see, that's the benefit of a Venturi. It will fill your lungs up without much effort. Do you need it? Hard to say. What's the disadvantage of a Venturi? Well, there are disadvantages. You've already seen one. Venturi on? How many times have you had your regulator and you dropped it in the water, face down? Dropped in the water, face down. Water flying all over, and everybody in the dive boat looks at you, and you feel embarrassed because you're supposed to be a good diver. And you think, my reg's broken. Now they're on, working perfectly. The Venturi is on, and it started to work. It sucked that diaphragm in. You now you know all about it. You now you know how it works. It's not really a disadvantage if you understand it. You should not have the Venturi on unless you need it, and put the regulator in the mouth and, and the water and mouthpiece down. That won't happen. But anyway, there you go. Venturis, good or bad, you decide. At least now you know what they look like. You know what they do. You know how they work, and you understand whether it's something you want with your regulator or don't want with your regulator. There you go. Venturi's, good or bad. Talk to you again real soon, Alec Pierce Scuba.